Avanil Kumar sharing with you a task at the end of chapter 5, Rational Functions. Most of the students need help with this. The question here is, researchers at a school have developed models to predict population changes in the three areas they service. The models are a of x equals to 360 divided by t plus 6 for area A, b of x equals to 30t divided by t plus 1 for area B, and c of x equals to 50 divided by 41 minus 2t for area C, where the population is measured in thousands and t is the time in years since 2007. The existing schools are full and the board has agreed that a new school should be built. Decide where and when the school should be built within 20 years. So that is the question for us. We will analyze the three rational functions and then decide where and when the school should be built. Right. So, this, so what we will have here, we will first sketch their graphs and then we will think about it. So the first one is 360 over t plus 6. B is, well this question has many parts, I am just discussing the basics so that you can do rest on your own, right? C of x equals to 50 over 41 minus 2t. I will appreciate if you could draw the graph for these functions as I am drawing or you can pause the video, draw it and then look into my suggestions. Now remember, time t is since 2007 and we'll try to consider 20 years of uh, the graph, right? So when we say a of x equals to 360 divided by t plus 6, we can actually, uh, let me make the coordinate axis, so we'll consider t will be positive for us, so let me use this part and sketch it. So we have a vertical asymptote at t equals to minus 6 which will be on the left side right so let us say somewhere here so we are not really bothered about it since we are very very worried about t greater than 0 right so this is time in years. Now uh, so at t equals to 0 what is the value? At t equals to 0, we get 360 divided by 6, that is 60. So let us say 60 is here for us. Okay. As t increases, what happens to this function a of x? If, let us say, t is 4, then it will be 36, so it is going to drop down, right? So let's say this is a period of 20 years. Here we have 10 years and then we have 5 years and that is 15 years. Okay, approximately, that's good enough. So this is 10 and 4. It drops very fast, right? So if I write t as, let us say, 20, then it will be 360 divided by 26. So approximately, let's do it. So what we get is 360 divided by 26 which is approximately equal to 13 point something, right? So, so let us say this is 360 for us. And what we get is around, around 13. So it's kind of low, right? So what we see from here, that initially it drops very fast and then it kind of slows down. And of course, as T increases very large, it will approach zero, right? So that is how the graph is going to look like for let's say 20 years, right? So we have approximate idea and this is for our function a of x. So the school in area A, there the number of students is going to decrease actually, right? It is saturated at present but further it is going to decrease. Let's see what happens for the area B. Now in this area the function is 30t over t plus 1. So that gives us a horizontal asymptote at 30. So let us say this is 30 for us. The 
there's a vertical asymptote at minus 1. So on this side, so we are not really bothered about it for the time being. Okay. If t is 0, in that case, we get a value of 0, right? Okay. Now, as t increases, let us say we have a value of t as 1. In that case, it will be 30 over 2, which is 15, which is kind of half of it, right? And then, as t increases to a large number, we approach the value 30. So this graph will be kind of like this. Approaching 30 as the time passes by, right? So we can say this is this is 20 for us. In that case, this is 10. And that's the kind of graph where this is 30. All the numbers are in thousands. And that is for B of X. Now let's see how the graph of C looks like. The vertical asymptote here will be when the denominator is 0. So 41 divided by 2 will give us 20.5. So we'll have a vertical asymptote at 20.5. So let's draw this vertical asymptote here. And this one is at 20.5, right? So here x is equals to 20.5. And we are thinking about sketching our function till 20 so we are well within the reach right so we'll discuss that part now if t is 0 then the value is 50 divided by 41 which is kind of a low value right as t increases right we find that the value of c of x increases if t is let us say 5 right then in that case 5 times 2 is 10, 41 minus 10 will be around 31, and this will be kind of increasing, right? So what we notice here is that as t increases and it approaches 20, the graph goes very, very high, right? So at actually at 20, it will be 50, correct? 50,000. So at 20, it is kind of 50. So let us say this is 50 for us. Let's say this is 50 for us. So the graph will be kind of like this, but thereafter, it is going to increase very steeply. Do you see that? So what we notice here is, in school area C, where this point is approximately, when we write 20, 40, it is around 50, 50,000. What we notice here is that the rate of change is extremely high just after 20, right? And then it just explodes here. Now looking into all the three graphs, in school area A, the strength is actually decreasing. So we should not be much worried about this area. In fact, some students from here can go to that school. Now in the area B, at present, initially, very high rate of changes there. So initially, the number of students or the population is increasing at a very high rate initially in the first couple of years. But in C, it is going to explode in 20 years, right? So from 20 years, it is going to be very high. So we should definitely build the new school near area C. So this is the area of our choice and it should be done well before 20 years since that will be unmanageable, right? So we will expect if it is done within 10 years, it will be a good preposition for the time being. But surely after 20, we have a break. So we should do it at 10 years, then it's kind of manageable, it seems to be, right? Within 10 years, it should be done near C. That should, that looks like a feasible approach. And in these 10 years, we should manage the students within uh, A and B, right? So we could always manage them. They are full at present, but all additions to these requirements can be somehow managed in area A for the time being. And then, 
uh, I think within five to ten years if the school comes in area C it should be very good. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.